Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your guys' day is going well so far. Last video we talked about depression and we talked about 10 things that has, um, 10 feelings that I have felt with depression over the years. And today I want to talk about something more light and that is coping. If you don't know what coping is, coping is basically um, different ways that people deal with stress, anxiety, or um, stressful situations. And unfortunately, a lot of people cope with stress in negative ways. And today I want to teach you how to cope in more positive ways. And how we're going to do that is with this box. This box is called a coping box. And I made this about six months ago. And you may be thinking, okay, there's just going to be books in there and journals. But I have filled this with positive things. Things that make me laugh. Things that make me smile. Anything that's going to impact my life in a positive way is in this box. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what is inside this box and hopefully you can take away some ideas from this or inspire you to make your own box. So I'm going to bring you guys over here. So this is what the box looks like. It's teal and I painted it myself. You can pick whatever color you want and if you don't want to you can just um you know, buy a box from your local, like, craft store. Because this is pretty big. It's made out of plywood. It has um, pretty sturdy hinges on the back. So that when I open it, it can support its weight. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever box you want. You can paint it whatever color you want. Make it however you want. I do have a lock on here. I took it off for the purpose of this video. But I keep it on there. Just because I think it's fun and cool to, like, lock it and open it up and stuff. So... Let's go straight into it. So, the inside is not painted yet. I was so anxious to put things in it that I never got around to painting it. So, hopefully one day that gets done. So, what I have in here can range from journals to crafts to just things that make me smile or laugh or happy. Anything to distract me from a stressful situations. So let's start pulling things out and I'll explain what everything is. Oh, I spelled this. Okay. So the first thing is this jewelry box. This jewelry box I made when I was in the hospital. And it's just a wooden box. And I have not painted it yet because when I made this, the next day I was released from the hospital. So it just says my um, initials with a blue heart so I could tell which one was mine. And just some jewelry in it. And I also have some paint. So if I want to paint it someday, I can do that. And to go with the paint, I have some paint brushes. And I just keep them in a mason jar in the box and you can get these at like Hobby Lobby they're like under 10 bucks and the next thing I have is a stress ball I like to have this because some days painting or drawing or writing doesn't really help and I kinda just need to squeeze something so I got this from Walmart and I also have some earrings I keep them in here because I like the saying on it. It says, be happy, be bright, and be you, which is a good reminder. And I like earrings, so I just keep them in there. When I want to change my earrings, I can, and then I get to see the nice saying on it, too. Um, the next thing, so these are the funny things that make me laugh. And these are things that my boyfriend got for me a couple Christmases ago, and I like to keep them in here. And... So I'll tell you the story behind these. There is a wiener dog. These are playing cards. And this one has a wiener dog on it because I have a miniature dash hound named Samson. So I really like having that in there. And then I have bacon playing cards because I love bacon. And bacon bandages, which is so strange. And I don't actually, I think I've used one before. But it's kind of just like a novelty item. And I think they're super funny. So I keep those in there. Um, and next I have some colored pencils, and I'll show you why I have these in here in a minute once I get to the other items, but they're all double-ended, 
And I got these at Hobby Lobby. And then this container I also got at Hobby Lobby. Next, I have a book. And this is the Chicken Noodle Soup for the Christian Soul. Um, I read this when I was in the hospital. I haven't finished it yet. But it was pretty good, what I read so far. So I keep it in there in case I want to read something one day. And if you've never read the Chicken Noodle Soup like series... Um, I would highly recommend them. I used to read them when I was a teenager, and I always liked them, so I'm pretty sure they have one. I don't have it, but I'm almost positive they have one for, like, depression and anxiety, so those are super good. Um, I have a journal, and it looks super banged up because it is. This is my journal from the hospital that I would write all my daily goals in, um, it did look pretty at one time. It was all metallic, but at one point I wanted to redecorate it. And I wasn't really happy with how it turned out, so I ripped it off, and it ripped off the back side of it. So maybe one day I'll fix it. Um, and then on the back it has some, like, printing on it. And so, yeah, all my goals are in here. Um, I also have a letter from my roommate, who I miss very much, who's very sweet. But I hope she's doing well. So yeah, all my goals and stuff. Um, I also have another notebook that if I needed to write stuff down in the hospital to remember, I would write them down. Or like a checklist. Because you had, in order to like stay up late, like a half hour early late, you would have to like complete a checklist. So that would remind me. And by the way, if you guys want to hear about my experience in the hospital, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. And I will try to do that for you guys. Um, I have a picture of my boyfriend and I. I like to keep in there. This was from our one year anniversary like two years ago, I believe. And I also have a card from him from like two years ago. And I really liked it. This was my favorite one, so I keep that one in there if I want to read it. And... I also have a goal list. So this is laminated. I also made this at the hospital. A lot of these things are from the hospital just because they inspired me to make this box. So um, it has little like magazine ripouts of different things that I liked. Inspirational things. And these are goals that... Um, I made in the hospital, and these are things that have been very difficult for me to do, so I wanted to challenge myself. So they say, be positive, don't be so hard on yourself, be nice to your body, um, don't be scared, and let people help you. And eventually I want to staple this to the top of my box. I just need to get a um, staple gun thingy to so it'll go through the wood. So that's that. And I have some paper. If I want to like journal or something. And I have, okay, this is why I have the colored pencils. So these are coloring books. Um, these are like adult coloring books, which is awesome because as I got older, um, I still loved coloring. I've loved coloring since I was a kid, but I never really was able to do it because, you know, they were all like little cartoons or something and I wasn't really interested in that. So these are adult coloring books. I think you can buy these online. So some of them are full pages. Um, these, these circles, I'm not sure if you guys know exactly what these are. But these are uh, mandalas. And the science behind this is that circles can be very calming and relaxing to a person. So um, typically a person with depression or anxiety will do these like in a hospital um, if they have like anxiety or something. And these are really awesome because it helps you concentrate on something because in order to color you need to be able to concentrate on all of these little tiny designs. So, and even if you don't have depression or anxiety, they're still really fun to color. But besides the um, mandalas, they also have like paisleys and little hearts and other designs. And then I have another one. And this one is specifically, if I can get it out. This is specifically a mandala book or mandala book. And so it's all mandalas.
And I'm working on that one. I think I was working on another one back there, too. Yeah, somewhere. So I'm working on that one. And I really like these. These are probably one of my favorite things. Um, I did do a lot of these at the hospital when I had, if I had, like, an anxiety attack. And it just helps you focus on something else other than your anxiety. And I think they really helped. I think they were fun. Um, you can hang them up and or laminate them when you're done. I think they're really pretty. And you get to feel proud of yourself for finishing something because these are, like, some of them are easier, but a lot of these are very intricate. So I think they're pretty cool. And I got this one at, like, a bookstore. I'm sure, like, a lot of them sell um, Mandela books. And then this one I ordered online. Um, I got this one for Christmas. And this one's pretty cool if you don't just want to do the um, mandalas. So yeah, I like those a lot. Okay, there's one more thing in here. And this is the most important to me. Um, what this is, this is a letter to myself. I wrote this back in um, August of 2015, which was when I was in the hospital. Uh, this was to be delivered to my house on August 15th, five days before my birthday, and I never got around to opening it because I didn't feel like I was ready. I promised myself that I would open this when I felt that I had made great strides to better myself, to be a more positive person, and to keep trying. And although I have done those things, I don't feel... Like, I am at the right place to open it. I want to feel like I I have made, like, a lot of improvement. And I feel like a different person from when I was at this point in my life. So, I'm not sure when I will open this. Um, I don't feel ready yet. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. I guess it just depends. Maybe I will open it on... August 20th of 2016 which is this year and maybe I'm not sure um, if you guys are interested in this but if you're interested in seeing what's in this letter then let me know um, let me know if you want to see that maybe I will open it with you guys and read it aloud because I don't even really remember what I wrote down because this was six months ago um, I have an idea but it would be interesting to read it out loud with you guys um, so yeah, if you want to um, if you want to see that, then uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. So yeah, that is the last thing. The box is empty now, and these are all the things. So I have things from coloring books, um, motivational posters, stress balls, crafts, all different kinds of things. Like I said, um, make this your own. Uh, you don't have to put all of these ideas in there or you don't have to put any of them. Whatever makes you feel the best, whatever makes you feel happy, positive, what makes you laugh, what makes you smile, make it your own. Um, this is just what I have in here. And of course, um, I would like to add more things. So if you guys have any ideas for my box, leave them in the comments below. I would love to add more stuff. Or if you do want to take away some of these ideas from my box, go ahead and feel free to do so. So, thank you so much. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys soon.